Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make invisible elastic thread or invisible elastic loops, as you can see here. Now, I got the card off of eBay for about a few cents, and um, I put my loops on here, as you can see. Now, as you can see, they are very hard to see, and I'm going to be showing you how to make them right now. Firstly, you're going to need a sock, as you can see here. You're also going to need a piece of magician's wax. Um, or blue tack. You're going to need a sharpie. If um, you want your loops to be black. If you want them to be like a clear greyish colour, then you don't need that. And you also need a card or a piece of paper that you can use to colour in the knot of your thread. I'll show you what that means later. So first step, I'm going to be showing you how to get your elastic out of your sock. Um, so what you're going to need to do is turn your sock inside out like this. And um, what you're also going to need to do is make sure that there are elastics here. And the next step is to take one of them out, as you can see. So this is where a whole lot of them are. I've taken most of them out making my thread here. So you're going to do this. Push. And pull your your thread out. So it could take a few attempts. But um, you'll get it. So basically just look for one like this. And um. Just start pulling, and it should come out. So, apart from that, make sure it doesn't get tangled or anything. So, about this long, as you can see here, so it's about this long. Now, I'll tell you I'm using back, um, a black background in a second. Because you can't really see that well on the black background. But what you're going to need to do is um, t pull the end like this, so just like that. And uh, you want to use your second hand to pull down on the thread um, a number of times until you see until you see this. See, there's a white thread coming right there. Okay, I'm focus on that. Okay, and what you're going to need to do is pull it out like this. So, just keep pulling. As you can see, this is the elastic part of the thread that we're going to be using. So, um, just keep pulling it out. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, so after you've done that, it should look something like this. So it is quite visible, and I'm going to be showing you how to make it less visible. So what you're going to need to do is um, make, pull one of these threads out. So this thread is made up of uh, a decent amount of little threads that you can pull out and use instead. So what you're going to need to do is snap off the end of this. So I'll show you what I mean. So you just snap it off, and um, as you can see, it will start to see how I, what happened there. It's starting to turn into other little threads, which I'll be showing you how to get only one of them. So if you keep, if you snap this again, you should be able to see. Um, individual threads. So, I don't know if the camera can see that. But, it'll start to turn into little threads. So, what you want to do is so use your scissors and cut diagonal. A diagonal way so you can see um, the little threads. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so after you've done that, 
as you can see if I pull down slowly um, I have a little thread or one single individual thread and so after look, I'll show you make sure it doesn't get tangled or anything ready there we go there's one of them right there okay it does take a few times to get it down right but um, then you can start pulling it out okay then we can let that sit that aside now when we have our little thread right here um, grab your piece of magician's wax and um, as you can see you want to go to the end of your thread here Sorry about the rain. Okay. So it's connected. And let that hang there. And then you want to go to the, find the other end of your thread here. And you want to wrap your thread here um, around your wrist. Like that. And attach it like this so the thread is actually on my nail there and you want to attach it like that okay and it should turn into a loop hmm? now what you're going to need to do is tie it so i'll show you how to tie it i'll also leave a link in the description where the, um this guy teaches you how to tie loops and um shows you a detailed explanation so, if you don't understand what I'm doing, or you can't see, basically, you want to grab the two threads like this. So, make sure it's around your wrist. Grab them like this. So, like that. And then, go around like this. And, I don't know if you can see that, but... There's two, two things here, and you're going to need to go around twice. One, two, three, and then tie the knot. So after you've successfully tied the knot, as you can see there, um, you want to find, you want to feel where the knot is using your um, index finger and thumb and then snap the thread off a bit um, a bit further away so you don't um, snap the knot so as you can see right there I don't know if you can see that but it's right there and now you can either use this for your magic tricks this um, without it being colored black as you can see the glare really gives it away sort of so what you're going to need to do is put it on this hand depending what hand you are i'm right handed so i'm going to put it on my left hand because we are now going to use a sharpie and um what we're going to do is i'm putting up with the sharpie and going around like this to color it black so um after you do that it should be black now it doesn't need to be 100% black, but I like mine to be 100% black, so I'm going to go around a few times. Okay, so after I did that, I'm going to find the knot of my loop, as you can see here. Make sure to cap the sharpie while you're doing this so it doesn't wear out. So an easier way to do this is to put it on your hand like this. And to go around and see if you can see the knot. Okay, and I've just found mine here. So, if you haven't noticed, the knot is still got a white sort of uh, glare here. Right there. So, what we're going to do is, you're going to use this card here. And we are going to place it there. So, our thread is here, and I'm going to place it un underneath here. So, if we can... Get a good glimpse of that knot there. And we have something to work with here. Uncap the sharpie. I can't do this with one hand. 
So I did that. Okay, and where the knot is, um, you can to use the sharpie. Sort of scribble over it. Okay, and then the knot will be black. As you can see. So that's how you make your invisible loop. Um, the real way. So, as you can see there. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos. And make sure to comment down below what you want my next video to be about. It's going to be about invisible thread. So I want you to suggest anything to do with invisible thread. And yeah. Thank you.